All of you in your life have had the opportunity to meet somebody famous at one point or another, relatively famous. Maybe you've got, you got to meet the principal of your school and they shook hands with you or something, or they, you invited some scholar to your house and you had a chance to talk to them, or you, you, know, you had lunch with somebody famous, etc. Et or you met a celebrity or something, you're on the plane, you're sitting next to like a pl player from the NBA or something like that. When people meet a celebrity, what do they usually do? Besides drooling, what, what, they, what else do they do? Something <laughs> That's what they do. And then they take a picture with them, and then, you know, and, they, you know, and then when they're done taking a picture, they tweet about it, and they Facebook about it, and then they, they're, they're like, you know who I got to meet? Oh my God. You know, I was at Ikna, and Sheikh Yasir Qadi was praying next to me. <laughs> oh, you know? <laughs> and he even said, Wa alaikum salam. You know, I'm never washing this hand again. <laughs> so, people go a little crazy when they meet somebody famous. They go, well, you know, but it becomes a memory they never forget. If you even go to older people's homes that if had the opportunity to meet someone famous, they usually take that picture and frame it on the wall. Like they shook hands with the president or the CEO or whatever else. And if you're working in a company, a large company especially, and the CEO walks in and stops over at your cubicle and puts his hand on, on your shoulder and says, good job, you know. Just those words, you'll never forget. Because you just had the opportunity to meet someone super duper famous. You just, you can't get that memory out of your head. It's, a, it's one of the, like the milestone, great uh, uh, moments of your life. Who is Musa alayhi salam getting to meet? Who is he just getting a chance to talk to? Allah, you think he's ever gonna forget? This is a conversation that's of epic proportions in human history. A conversation is happening between Allah and a human being. And the conversation was initiated by Allah directly. By His name He called Him, Musa. I've chosen you, listen up. You know, it's incredible. And you know Allah tells him, no one should be worshipped except myself, enslave yourself to me. And then He tells him, وَأَقِمِ salata li dhikri." This part of it just baffles, boggles my mind. Establish the prayer so you can remember me. The question I have is, he's never gonna forget. How can he forget? He just got to, he's in conversation with Allah. If there's one thing Musa السلام, will never ever forget, is this. And Allah says, even you, if you really want to remember me, what do you have to do? Establish salat. Can you imagine the value of when it comes to remembering Allah?